Hello friends, hope everyone's doing well. So today we're playing as the Deathslinger, a killer I don't play as too much, and honestly I did pretty well today, a lot better than I thought I would. I don't normally do well with him, I do miss a lot of my shots, but it's something I'm trying to get better with. Like I said before, with most killers, I want to be, like, okay with all of them. That or have just, like, a really good understanding of how every single killer works. I already have an understanding of how they all work, but just actually putting it into practice is something I do struggle with a lot, and Deathsling is one of those killers. And like I said before, I did pretty well in this one. I'm very surprised. And the survivors in this one did make a lot of mistakes. This was a very weird day of recording. Overall, it was pretty awkward. I recorded five trials with him, but I chose the three ones that are, I think, are pretty entertaining and actually fun to watch. With that being said, I really hope you enjoy these ones. The first trial will be on Auto Haven, the second trial will be on the Nomostro Landing, and then the final trial will be on Coldwind Farm. I also brought a build to help me out with just using his ability. The Redeemer still counts as a basic attack no matter what, so I bought a build to really help out with that. And we'll jump right into the perks now. So the build I'm bringing today is Make Your Choice, Slide Butcher, Rep Brutality, and Surge. Starting off with the first perk, we have Make Your Choice. If the killer is 32 meters away from a survivor that is on the hook, Make Your Choice will be active, and whenever a survivor is taken off the hook, the rescuer will scream, and they'll also now be exposed for 60 seconds. Exposed survivors can be down with a basic attack, even if the exposed survivor is healthy. Make Your Choice does have a cooldown of 60 seconds, so you can kind of keep track of how long the survivor will be exposed for just by paying attention to the perk. Make Your Choice is a good perk for killers who have a lot of mobility. Examples would be Sadako, Dredge, or the Wraith. And the Deathslinger does not exactly have mobility, but he makes it up with his Redeemer. And the Redeemer itself does not count as a special attack, it is a basic attack. So let's say that you are across the map, you hear a survivor scream, you go back to the hook, you manage to find the rescuer, even if they're far away, or if they're in a somewhere safe, you can hit them with your Redeemer, reel them in, and then instantly down them, saving you so much more time of having to injure them, reload, rinse, repeat. Even if they're on like a safe loop that has a window, you can shoot through the window, reel them up to the window, and instantly down them. I think this perk works really well for the Deathslinger, just because his Redeemer does only count as basic attacks. If a Spirit Survivor did count as a special attack, then yeah, this perk would be pretty useless. At least it would be for him. Moving on to our next perk, we have Sloppy Butcher. So whenever you hit a survivor with a basic attack, they'll suffer from the hemorrhage and mangled status effect for 90 seconds. Hemorrhage meaning that it regresses the healing process whenever they stop healing for whatever reason, and also they leave more blood pools, and the mangled makes it where it takes 25% longer to heal. Sloppy Butcher is a really good perk just on its own. Also for the Deathslinger, it also really does help out as well, just because, you know, having a healthy survivors every single two seconds can really hinder him a lot, and also when it comes to most killers, having injured survivors the whole entire time can be very useful, especially with his Redeemer as well. If all the survivors are going to stay injured the whole entire time, Make a Choice won't really work too well, but that's kind of my main point of bringing Make a Choice, so if they do heal, it'll punish them. And if they don't heal, then well, it's easier for me to down them then. So it's kind of like a flip of the coin, really. If they want to heal, go for the rescue, then, you know, they're going to be exposed. So they're basically going to be one-shot anyways. And Sloppy Butchers to kind of deter them from healing. And if they do heal, it'll waste a lot of time for them, too. So that's my main goal of bringing both of them is to prevent them from healing. And if they do heal, and if they go for the rescue, if someone's on the hook, then it'll, you know, it'll punish them for wasting time and also going for the rescue. Moving on from that, the next perk we have is Rapid Brutality. Rapid Brutality is an extremely good perk. It also only works by using basic attacks. After hitting a survivor, you gain 5% haste for 10 seconds. Haste meaning it increases the killer's movement speed. This perk works really well for the Deathslinger, again when it comes to them running to safe loops. With the Deathslinger, if you're able to, say, pull them in with your Redeemer, hit them, injure them, you have 5% haste, you can either reload, or if you know that they're not in a great spot, you can just continue to chase after them. Even if they run forward, you're still very fast. You can catch right back up to them, and even if they go to, like, a safe loop, similar to a clown, if they're kind of, like, holding a pallet hostage, you can just reload, and you're able to catch up to them so quickly, so you kind of broke that distance to add more pressure to them. And also, in all three of these trials, Rabbit Brutality was basically like our saving grace. It helped us out so many times. Being able to catch with the survivor after getting a redeemer hit is just so useful and these trials were just such a good example of showing how good rapid brutality can be on the Deathslinger. Alrighty, and finally, our final perk is Surge. After hitting a survivor with a basic attack, within 32 meter range of the downed survivor, all generators that are within that range will instantly explode, losing 8% of their progress. And also, if a survivor is working on the generator that is affected by Surge, they will scream. Surge is a really good perk for basic attack killers because they're able to utilize it so well, because whenever they do get it down, it's usually with a basic attack, or it always is. In this case, it would be with Deathslinger, it always will be a basic attack. So basically, you're going to be getting value off of Surge no matter what. And also another cool thing that the Deathslinger can do is that he can also like drag survivors to generators that are being worked on. So let's say you have like a Jill working on a gen, you're able to catch up to her immediately, hit her, she runs away, getting farther away from the generator. If you manage to hit her with your Redeemer, you can drag her back into that 32 meter range, downing her and Surge will go off on the generator behind you. This can also help you save time not having to go back to kick the generator, so you can go after her and chase another survivor almost immediately after you're done hooking Jill. And no other killer can use Surge as effectively as the Deathslinger can, because, like I said before, he's able to reel survivors back into that 32 meter range, which no other killer can do. And just that alone, I think the Deathslinger is the number one when it comes to using Surge out of all the basic attack killers. I do try to do this a couple times, but unfortunately I did fail on that, but you can kind of see a couple times I do try to drag the survivor close to the generator that they ran away from, just so I can get that Surge value off of it. So those are our perks, now let's talk about our add-ons. 
So the add-ons I've chosen today is the chewing tobacco and the modified ammo belt. So whenever Survivor breaks out of the Deathslinger's chain, he will kind of be stunned for a couple seconds, and the chewing tobacco decreases that amount of stun duration by 0.5 seconds. So mostly it's to help out whenever a Survivor dude breaks out of your chain so it doesn't take too long just to, you know, get back into chase. And also we have the modified ammo belt to help us reload as well. The modified ammo belt decreases the reload time by 0.25 seconds. Doesn't sound like a lot, but honestly it's the only good add-ons for the Deathslinger. He has the modified ammo belt and the Warden's keys. Both those add-ons help decrease the reload time. This add-on's mostly just a safety for me. I do get in a lot of situations situations where the survivor does break out of my chain, so this is to kind of help me out get back into chase so I'm not sitting there for too long, and they're not able to make as much distance as they would normally. And our second add-on is to help us out reload. The modified ammo belt decreases the Redeemer's reload time by 0.25 seconds. Now it doesn't really sound like a lot, but honestly these are his best add-ons. He does have another add-on, which is the Warden's Keys. Those also decrease the reload time of the Redeemer. And it's pretty unfortunate because his reload times and his decreased of the stun duration times are his only good add-ons. He has other ones that are just really bad. So it's pretty unfortunate, but at least he has some add-ons that can help him out at least a little bit. Alrighty, that's our build. So all we have is basic attack perks. So we have make your choice to keep pressure on survivors that are unhooking that are healthy. We also have Sully Butcher to keep survivors injured. So if they do want to heal and go for the rescue, they'll still have that pressure on them. We have Rapid to keep up with survivors and chase, and we also have Surge to help us out with our regression. We have the Chewing Tobacco to help us out whenever they break out of my chain, and we also have the Modified Ammo Belt to help me reload. Alrighty, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoy. Oh, Auto Haven, how much I... Don't like you. It's alright, let's see what we can do. Such cool skin for Slinger. Alright, what's the sights on this thing? Not bad. Okay, let's see if we can find somebody. I think I see somebody already. Nope, that is a pile of trash. Oh, there's somebody. Hey, Lori. Hey, Fang. What you guys doing? What's the plan here? Oh, okay. There's no pallet here. Oh, well, this is a down already. Hi. This might be a double down. Maybe. Ooh, she went to the left. Good job. We can go back. I've got no reason to chase you. Hi. I did see you. I'll take it. Oh, can I kind of see a little bit in the model there a little bit? That's interesting. Oh, we got the wall to save us now. Uh, boil over. I need to find a hook very quickly. Is Michaela going to break that one? Yeah, she is. Well, that's fine. I traded one survivor for another. Not the worst thing in the world. What is plan here? What is plan here? I think. Very confused right now. Well, this gen's already about to be unkickable. <laughs> Check Lori first. She might have a uh, buckle up and stuff like that. Kayla did go down. Hi. Swim burst. I need to reload. That was a mistake. Not too sure where Fang is, but. Well, I gotta say, this is a pretty interesting trial. I'm stuck. So far. Alright. Um, I'm not too sure where the sable is. Oh, I found her. Jeez, I really have expected her to try to go for the save there. She healed. I heard her behind me. Let's let her go for the rescue real quick. I have an idea. I'm calling spirit. I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe not.
Oh, well, Lori isn't... Oh, he's now broken. Or, and, uh, not broken. Oh, yeah, so I didn't infect. I guess I was maybe too close, I think. This is still a mess of a trial for them. Oh, sorry, Michaela. I played, though. Hi, Lori. Don't ask how I saw her. <laughs> I think her charm gave it away. <laughs> I can actually see my hat. That's kind of neat. Well, that was a mess. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't think we saw, except for Michaela's Shrimp Burst, I don't think we saw any of their perks. No clue about the Lyth, no clue about the background player, no clue about the Dead Hard. Eesh. Well, it happens. Yeah, well played, everyone. Well, friends, that was a bit of a slaughter. Well, play to all the survivors. I think they tried their best. I think they spent too much time trying to help each other out, rather than just making distance and working on generators that are just healing each other. I do think after the Michaela went down, I think the Sable and the Fang should have just left, make some distance, wait for me to, to either wait for me to hook Michaela or hook the Lori, and then go from there. Because how I took down the Sable was basically the worst for them. I was able to get three survivors down in, in all the same area, so the Fang really couldn't do anything. When she healed, I was pretty smart. Make some distance, heal, try to go for the rescue after I'm hooking the rest of the survivors. But it would have been better if Sable also went with her, just made some distance, try not to set up for a flashy save, which I believe is what she was trying to do. I can appreciate the attempt, but honestly, I don't think it would have even helped them out that much in the end. I think she should have just made distance after I injured her. But again, well played to them. They all tried their best. Moving on to the next trial, I'm just going to go over the perks again really fast. So we have Make Your Choice, Sloppy Butcher, Rep Brutality, and Surge. Make your choice if a killer is 32 meters away from the hook. The survivor that goes for the rescue will be exposed for 60 seconds. Has a cooldown of 60 seconds. Slow a butcher. After we hit a survivor with a basic attack, they'll be inflicted with the hemorrhage and mangle status effect for 90 seconds. We have rapid brutality. After we hit a survivor with a basic attack, the killer will gain a 5% haste for 10 seconds. And surge. If we down a survivor within 32 meters, if a generator is within that 32 meter range, it will explode, losing a percent of its progress. And if survivor is working on it, they will scream. For our add-ons, we have the Chewing Tobacco and the Modified Ammo Belt. The Chewing Tobacco decreases the stun duration after a survivor breaks out of her chain by 0.5 seconds, and the Modified Ammo Belt decreases the time it takes to reload the Redeemer by 0.25 seconds. We are playing on the Nemostro Landing, a map that I'm okay with. I don't know the loops too well just because I don't play on it too often, but I am happy to be playing on it just so I can learn it a lot more. And again, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Ah, uh, Nemostro. Uh, I don't mind this map too much. I, I do uh, mind... All right, I, oh, what's the word? Sorry, I don't mind playing on it because uh, I still kind of don't know it too well. Um, this is one of the new maps that I don't play too often. At least personally, I don't. I don't really get it too often Survivor or Killer. So it's kind of good to get to know the loops, play it more. Uh, I think that's Fang there. Or that's Jill, I think. That's why I never get off the gen because the hitboxes on the gen are a little weird. That was a pretty good shot, though, honestly. I got my challenge done, too. Uh... That was a good shot. This will be a down. Unfortunately, we missed the uh, surge on that gen back there, but that's okay. We can head back over there right now. We have a hook right here, which is nice. I do like the skin, it's kind of cool, you can see the hat. It does kind of glitch out a little bit, but... Hello, oh, this is Fang, I was right. Oh, good job, I got a gen done. Okay. Ooh, I was way too uh, early. Or late, I, sh I, I should say. Oh, she didn't bolt it. Jill, I need you to be my friend. Hi, Jill. Oh, poor thing. She has no idea where we are. Good try, though. Hi. You got a flashlight, Yui? Or you have a flash... Or what do you call it? It's firecrackers. Being very greedy right now, but... Am I stupid? Okay. 
guess it was worth it. Fang is still broken, too. Oh, Boon. Maybe Circle of Healing. Oh, fine. Interesting day today with, with Slinger. Alright. We'll say, well, I'm going to give you a chance. Unless they... Oh, there she is. I'm going to give her a chance. It's been a really rough day for survivors today. We got basement here. I'll go pick up Yui next. And we'll continue our chasing. I think Yui's still over here. I don't think we broke the pallet, did we? No, we didn't. Yui's also gone. Oh, well, Sable's exposed, I guess, if that means anything. I think. Good dead hard, man. Not too sure what the plan was there, Fang. Ooh. I have no clue where, uh... Where the other one is. Do you have, do you have DS, Fang? It'd be kind of funny if you did. No, oh, guess not. Well, back in base, we can go. I don't think she wants to play anymore. Jill did heal. There you go. There she is. I did actually hit her. Very lucky on that hit there. Thought I wasn't going to get it. Oh, the boon's uh, behind this wall right in front of me. I can't hear it. I still have no clue where Yui is. Huh, it's kind of an interesting day today. They get two gens done, and then it kind of just goes downhill from there. I don't think Sable finally got Yui up. <laughs> They're trying their best, though. It's just kind of a bit of a struggle fest today. Oh, the boon's gone. Did they move it when I wasn't paying attention? Not possibly. Okay, they're probably... I don't even know where the heck they would even be. I don't know where Yui went. I made it some major distance. Oh, Jill's done playing too. I'll play Jill. Oh, here's somebody. Can I shoot through this? Maybe. I just hold my gun like that. Yeah, see, yeah, people don't like to... I mean, I don't understand why. Good try, though. I don't know if you have dead heart or not. But, well, what a messy day overall. I don't know if Sable's gonna go for the rescue. Uh, she might. Very kind of her, she does. Was that a self-escape? I think it was. I lost her too. Huh. Cool. I didn't... Well, I was expecting that. Hi. You have dead hard, but I don't think I hooked you again. Ooh, that might have been a hit. If I was just a little bit more, uh, patient. She went left? There she is. I was hoping she'd be there. There's a pallet here, but she decided not to take it. Okay. Not too sure what happened there. I think I hit right over her head. This thing is too tall. She see her or is that a bird? Oh, I saw her. Hey, Yui. She is that is that Jill's med kit? <laughs> That's a bit of a missed trial. <laughs> 
A lot of missed trials today. But, eh. Let's hope these are somewhat enjoyable to watch. Do we had no perks? Oh, I'm just trying to get that achievement. Eh, well, we'll play to everyone. Well, friends, another messy trial. It's a bit unfortunate. They looked like they were doing pretty well. I'm not too sure why the Fang just gave up. But anyway, we'll play to them. They tried their best. I definitely could have finished the trial a lot quicker when everyone was down and the Sable finished the generator. I could have left everyone just to their own devices and go after the Sable. But for me, I just like to have fun. I much prefer to have like a close trial where everyone's doing amazing and it's like it's very close game rather than just absolutely destroying survivors and just mopping the floor with them, downing all of them at the beginning, hooking all of them and just that's it. I like fun trials and I hope the survivors have a lot of fun too just because, you know, we're all playing a game, we're all trying to escape reality and just enjoy ourselves, so. I know Dead by Daylight can be stressful sometimes, I like to like give it a fair chance at least to everyone. Also, I understand the frustration of being absolutely floored by a killer. You just feel like you can't do anything, and you're not really having fun. So that's just my hope for Trials, just to be enjoyable overall. So that's the reason why I gave Sable a chance, just because I want them all to just have fun and enjoy themselves. Okay, moving on to the next trial. I'm not going to be showing off the perks. They're exactly the same. Same with the add-ons, so I'm just going to get right into it. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, cold wind. We're playing on two maps today that I don't like, but it's okay. Let's see how this one goes. Uh, this is the main... Okay, yeah, I know, I know which one this is. Got a pretty good idea of, of it. I think I hit the window sill there. <laughs> I wake. You got a flashlight. I don't know, I think I know what archive you're doing. Sorry, buddy. I do the same thing sometimes. Get a little too scared and I just fault it. Who the heck are you? Oh, it's Felix. Where did Wake go? This way? Yeah, this way. Somewhere. There he is. He's above me. Good distance on you, man. Good job. Ah. Not the greatest when it comes to this thing, I better do try my best. This is Volt Over. No balance. Kind of in a bad place to be honest, but it's alright. Might hear a gem pop. Ooh. Hi. Up Sable. You have a uh, you have Wake's perk, um, Champion of Light, because you were walking very fast when you were flash lighting. Which way is she going? Oh, there she is. Good distance on ya. Uh, TL. Hmm. I don't- I'm kinda- I don't really wanna risk- risk the long shot, cause I think I'm gonna miss. Oh, good job. Yeah, she's going to shack, which could be a little bit risky. For us to be here. She's leaving it, though. Oh wow. I, I thought I walked past the gen. It didn't, ha didn't have much progress on it. I just didn't have any. I thought it didn't. Oh, we're gonna hear somebody scream in just a moment. Uh, Sable. Do need to go for her next. Let's see if they heal underneath the hook. That'd be good if they do. I can break this too. Oh, this is main building gen. Was this? This is Wake. They didn't heal underneath the hook. Hmm. Which way is he going? There he is. Hey, Felix. I love doing that. It makes a mess up. Let's reload. That's fine, I'll take it. This will be a down. Yeah, sweet that gen. Perfect. Okay, um, hopefully Sable will go for this rescue as well, because we do have Make Your Choice back. I think that gen's about to pop. I think it wakes on this one right here.
Yep, there he is. Let's kick it, and he might make some distance, but that's okay. He chose to stay. This will be a down. Let's see, he has dead hard. I don't think he does. And we got a surge on it as well. Cool. Okay. A lot of DCs today, but yeah, it is what it is. Set over to Felix. Yep, I did hear a Sable scream. Was it the one that's injured? I guess we're about to find out, huh? There's Felix. There's Sable. This was a healthy one. Perfect. Jen's back at zero. Hook back on the same hook. Uh, there's Felix to my left. I did see him by the tree. We can go for him next. Felix, you still over here, buddy? You are. Walk right past you, too. Good job, guys. You guys are doing great. Problem is, they're still kind of by the hook, though, so they got to be kind of careful on what their next move is. I don't think the AI is going to go for the save. I think Sable might. Or she's going to have to. Good job. Let's go over there. Oh, Wake did go for the save. Good for the AI. Usually they're kind of scared to do anything whenever they're inside of a terror radius. Oh, I'm not chasing Sable. Oh, I'm chasing the AI. He's actually waiting by the corner. That's hilarious. Hit the windowsill. It's okay. That was interesting. <laughs> Did I hear two noises? I don't think I don't think search procked. I could be wrong about that. Uh, I don't want to take him to basement. I'll just hook him here. Take too long for us to get out of it. Well, we'll play Wake. Good job. They're still doing very well. Um, that gen. We know that gen's at zero. Um, might be bad to go over here. It's, who is this? Oh, it's Felix again. Good job. Who rescued you? My question. This is pretty unsafe. They were healing, which is good. Let's break this. We got some pretty good shots off today, I would say. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would. They both healed, which is fine. I see him. I'll play Felix. I saw somebody here, yep. Hello, you the one with the map? Yeah. Oh, no, it's reverse. So I know I saw somebody. I think I was a bit off to the left. Hello now. This always kind of works out, yep, Deadheart. Well, she could have, I would have no idea. I played though. Um, you're not dead, but. I'm wasting my time a little bit. Let's go see if. Um, let's go check Shaq, and then we'll go check that corner gen over there. I'm assuming they healed each other. I could be wrong about that. No, nobody's there. Okay. Alright, other sable is now exposed. Look at that window right there. I think she went to the left. That's a say that's an injured one. Where's the healthy one? There you are. Yeah, usually if you can't find them, most likely they're in a locker. Either that or that she's she could have walked on rocks and stuff like that, but good try though. I can appreciate the try. Doesn't count as in sit down, but you know. It is what it is. 
Ah, she felt it. I would have given it to her anyways. It's a pretty rough trial for them. But well played to all of them. Honestly, they played very well. Uh, let's see. Background play, we didn't get to see that. Um, where's Felix? He did have Dead Heart, actually. Well, we kind of we counteracted that. Say, so, well, she had background player. Okay, so she didn't have champion of light, she had background player. I thought she had champion of light. And then the other sable she had off the record. Very good. Money knowledge is good, and resilience is good too. And of course, windows is good as well. Three windows. Oh, blast mine on awake. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, well played everyone. They tried their best. Well, friends, that was the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, really weird day. A lot of people DC'd. It's pretty unfortunate just overall. And the other two trials that I had were much worse than this. I think it was like maybe like two or three DC'd and it was just kind of boring from there. So it's it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I still think I did pretty well. When I was editing this video, I think it was pretty entertaining to watch. I hope that was the case for everyone that does watch this video. It really does mean a lot that you did. And also the fact that you made it this far, I really do appreciate it. My main hope for this video that it was just entertaining, if anything. And it was some pretty decent slinger shots as well. So at least some satisfaction in that. Ending off of that, let's talk about the trials themselves when it came to our perk values. For the first trial, we managed to do pretty well when it came to Sloppy Butcher and Rep Brutality. Surge, we only applied it on one generator, and we got it five times, which is pretty decent, but when it didn't really matter because a gen didn't even get finished that whole entire trial. And also make a choice, we didn't manage to actually get a use out of it. We could have hit the fang with it, but I was way too close and I didn't really realize it until it was too late. When it came to our, our add-ons, worked out really well. We were able to reload a lot, and also we were able to uh, use the chewing tobacco against the fang like perfectly. We were able to break out of our, our stun duration just a little bit quicker, catch back up to her and be able to redeem her again. Moving on to the second trial, we got a really good use out of Make Your Choice against the Jill, Solid Butcher, and Rap Brutality also helped us out a lot. That map is pretty big, and they were able to make a lot of distance after we injured most of them, so the fact we were able to catch back up really fast with Rapid really did help out. Surge helped us out just a little bit. Could have gotten more value off of it, but it's okay. Like, when it came to the first time we downed Sable, we could have dragged her just a little bit farther back before injuring her to get the uh, Surge value off of it, but again, it's okay. Managed to not use a Chewing Tobacco, which is good in my opinion, just because if we didn't need it, it's still good just to have it just in case. And also, when it came to the Ammo Belt, we were able to reload a lot, and the add-on just helps out just in general, of course. And finally, we have the final trial. Able to get Make Your Choice, I, I kind of count it twice, because if the Sable was not in the locker, we managed to find her, we would have downed her anyways. But, so, I guess yes and no, we did get two uses out of it, but we did technically only get one, which is still really useful. We used it pretty well against the Sable, it was like perfect timing too. And also, when it came to Sloppy Butcher and Rep Brutality, again, it was really good. A lot of the survivors stayed injured, and also Rapid helped us out, catch back up to the Felix multiple times and the uh, and the Alan Wake. Surge mostly helped us on a couple of generators that were not really too high on progress, but it really did help us out when it came to when we found the Wake the second time. We were able to get that Surge off on that generator after we kicked it, so we, that generator lost roughly over 12%. Again, same thing with the Chewing Tobacco. We didn't manage to get use out of it, which is still fine. And then we also had the Ammo Belt to assist us a lot in that one, because we did use our Redeemer a lot in that one, which was really good. We managed to hit most of our shots. And the ones that we did miss, it didn't really mean too much because we we're just able to reload so fast. Overall, I think this build works out really well. If the trials lasted a lot longer like how they normally would, I think we would have gotten a lot more value from all of our perks. If you do play as Deathslinger, if you do want to try him out, I do suggest this build. I think this is a pretty fun one, and it's a pretty solid one for him just overall. You have good regression, good pressure, you get assistance of mobility, and also slow down when it comes to healing. So I, I think it's pretty helpful overall. If you guys do give it a try, let me know what you think. I also hope I was able to show off how good Make Your Choice can be on the Deathslinger when it came to the Sable on the Coldwind map. She was so far away from us, and if we had to walk up to her and physically hit her, there was kind of a chance that she would have made it to main building, to that pallet, and it would have just taken me a lot longer to down her. So the fact that we had the Redeemer just to pull her into us was so useful. And again, I think that was a perfect example to show off how good Make Your Choice can be on the Deathslinger. Alrighty, and that's it. I want to thank you again so much for watching and making it this far. It really does mean a lot. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. I try to post whenever I can. And if you like the video, leave a like. Help support the channel. Check out my Instagram, link in the description. I just post updates on there whenever I can. And again, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. And I hope to see all of you in the next one. Stay safe out there, friends.